One thing you often hear is that watercolor is really hard to learn. I think you just have to really commit to learning it and be diligent. But I guess it depends on your technique, really, because, you know, any kind of medium that you use, you're going to have your own technique. You know, you're going to learn the basics and then with a lot of time and, you know, working on your own pieces and your own style, you know, you eventually develop your own technique. So this is really just my technique, but there's like a gazillion techniques and, you know, each artist is going to have their own way of doing things. It's not really, I mean, there might be wrong ways of doing things, but I don't really know if there's any real right or wrong, you know, way to accomplish a certain task, you know, it all depends on your, your own technique. And how you like to work. Um, right now I'm going into some dogs that I've already painted, um, that I've w given a wash, given some shading, and now I'm going in and putting in some details. So we just did a little whippet here. This whippet is actually based on a pet portrait that I did um, four or five years ago of um, a whippet named Leica and her Jack Russell um, brother Orson and um, I just thought she was so graceful she was like a supermodel dog I think I even I think I even referred to her as a supermodel dog and she actually also wore a lot of necklaces like this but um, I don't think she had an L on her on her um, necklace but I wanted to pay homage to her in this piece because she was so inspiring and such a beautiful dog. Okay, so Lake is done. Oh, let's do her nose, actually. She needs a little nose spot. I'm going to give her a brown nose as opposed to a pink nose. And I want to get a little bit of pink in her ear, too. I'm also going to add a little tiny touch of brown to just edges, you know, just to give it a little oomph where it needs it just just to give it a little bit of like value Ooh, that might be a little too dark i'm gonna lift that up actually here we go oh that looks good so she would have that little oomph on her chest <laughs> that looks good so oh and another thing about leica she had the most beautiful eyes she had she had like doggy makeup I mean, not litter. She didn't wear doggy makeup. She had natural eyeliner. <laughs> this dog was glamour puss, I'm telling you. But um, you can see her on my website, actually, if you go to wellerwishes.com and then go to the portraiture gallery. Just click on pet portraits. Um, Lake is in there somewhere. Um, she shouldn't be too hard to find. I think there's a... Um, I actually think there's a... Uh, a case study of her and Orson's portrait so um, that actually um, will give you a lot of details about the portrait and a lot of information that I took from their parents or in this case from their mom um, to create the portrait and the things that I included in the portrait I like to put in um, a lot of personal items and involve you know, things that their parents and are really into. So, and that really happened in the case of this portrait. So it was, it was a really fun one to work on. It was really cool. 